Are you looking for the best jewelry organizers? In this video, we will look at some of the four best jewelry organizers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Songmix H Full Screen Mirrored Jewelry Cabinet Armoire. This Songmix cabinet, which we heard about from two designers, comes with all the trappings, a mirrored front that doubles as a full-length mirror, LED lights on one side, shelves that aren't just for jewelry, and a lock with keys. All of the above even made me briefly reconsider my anti-armoire stance. Christina Tung of SVNR once belonged to the Ceramic Dish Camp of Jewelry Organization, but says this has become the most functional, practical option that feels really organized, especially compared to having catch-alls lying around all over. Another advantage, it helps Tung reign in her collection, that's my new rule for things, if it doesn't fit in the organization system that I put together, then I know I have too much. Martinelli is another convert, arranging her song mix cabinet using a like-with-like -like system. Statement earrings stay together, as do studs. The effect is like an Excel spreadsheet with alternating shaded rows that make it easier to play dress up. It's probably best suited for larger collections, but has enough room that it will allow you to add new pieces. And you can hang the cabinet on the back of a door, the hooks to do so are included, or mounted on a wall, with the optional screws. At number 2. Mine Life Jewelry Stand Display Necklace Holder. Of all the pieces in a jewelry collection, necklaces are the trickiest to organize. Laid out, they often get tangled up by themselves or with other chains. Your best bet is a dedicated stand jewelry designer Melinda Maria uses this one, switching out necklaces in her current rotation. It's an affordable alternative to some of the other stands out there, with room for bracelets, watches, and earrings with hooked backs. There are three tricks to know about these types of holders. 1. Space out necklaces to prevent tie-ups. 2. Keep your most worn pieces on the ends for an easy out. And 3. Don't keep all your heavy, statement-making treasures on one row, as there's more of a chance the entire holder will topple over. These can get dusty, so you'll want to wipe them down occasionally with a microfiber cloth. Using strong cleaners can damage the jewelry and the holder. At number 3. Reva Shelf Extending Closet Hanger. This Reva Shelf solution is a rather unconventional organizer designed for ties and scarves, but Corinne Morahan, founder of Grid Plus Glam, recommends it for holding necklaces. The expandable and mountable rack can hang inside a closet, sliding out to reveal 25 hooks. The pegs are spaced out enough that you don't have to worry about chains, tangling, Morahan promises. Unlike a necklace stand for a dresser top, which sometimes doesn't leave enough vertical clearance if you like the layered look or long pendants, this rack lets them hang without any interference and you won't have to take other necklaces off to get the one you want, she says. At number 4. Union Plus Velvet Travel Jewelry Case Roll. When Saltzer was traveling for trunk shows, she would fill up these pretty velvet bad boys and pack them inside a suitcase. Each is lined with a row of removable loops with snaps to hang necklaces and bracelets. It's just self-contained, the fact that it was sort of all stacked in there, she says. Nothing could move and nothing could scratch because all was gently held by the velvet. Once unrolled, the roll reveals what you have in a flat lay, so you don't have to dig. A smaller bird emblazoned brocade jewelry roll is also among her favorite organizers for travel if you're not bringing much on a trip. It comes with zippered pockets instead of loops, and though it's no match for actual antique embroidered Chinese silks, the under $10 price tag can't be beat. I also have to give an honorable mention to this leather catch-all from Marla Aaron that Saltzer introduced me to. The $400 pouch, which folds flat like a paper shopping bag, is made from luxurious Italian leather and comes in colors like lipstick and baby blue. It's like a beautiful armor, Saltzer says.